Hey guys, Furum here. Well, how time flies. We are on to our fourth and final recap today. I will be your co-host in the finals of the Asphalt 9 portion of the ESL Mobile Open Fall 2021 season. They'll be held in just a few hours from the time this video is posted at 4.30 p.m. Pacific time and co-hosted by me, Inverum, Glitter, and Marv. It's going to be broadcasted live on ESL Mobile's YouTube as well as their Twitch, so I hope to see you there. Since this is our final recap of the season, I wanted to do something a little bit special for this time. So not only showing the number one winners of both iOS and Android, but also the second place finishers on each of the platforms. So now we are watching the run of the second place player on Android, Diesel Dragon. He crosses the finish line with a final real time of 43.956. Next up, we are going to be checking out the run of the racer who got second place on iOS, whose name is Cynical. Now, once we get to the first place winner, on each platform, I'm going to be talking a bit more about specifically what they're doing on the tracks and all the details like I usually do, but I want to take this opportunity to speak a bit about the track itself, because this is a new one. Auckland is the newest track to come to Asphalt 8, it just came in the last update, and it's set at night on a track inspired by real-world circuits. It's got a lot of twists and turns, but the Bugatti Devo seems to be able to handle them fairly well. Now, this is a higher-end S-Class car, it isn't the fastest car in the game, but it does have pretty good acceleration, and the drifting, while not the best, is certainly tight enough to get around the turns with as much ease as you might want on a track such as this. And Cynical finishes his race with a final real time of 44.270. Now we're moving on to the first place winners on each platform, beginning with A9UF Pickle on Android. At the beginning, he goes to the right and takes this first barrel. This is so he can get up his speed as quickly as possible through gaining some airspeed, and then goes directly to a straight ramp without doing a 360 off of it. This is because he already had plenty of nitro and is able to just drift here and then be able to shockwave out of this turn. Then he drifts slightly around this next curve, does a punch drift to keep up his speed, and then just double tap nitros throughout this section. Then again, drifts around the next turn. Auckland is absolutely one of the most twisty tracks we have seen so far this season. So you will see the similar strategy in a lot of runs of drifting around a lot of them and then just shock waving straight out of them and then landing over to the right there allows you to get a little bit more of an airspeed boost going off the ledge. And Pickle finishes with a final time of 43.889. And now it's time to check out the lap of the winner of the final iOS qualifier, Yogg Saran. You may remember him from previous seasons. He competed back in the spring season and also even in previous seasons as Wild Hair. He takes the same route as Pickle at the beginning and is even able to shockwave off the second ramp. Going from ramp to ramp like that really helps keep a car's momentum high, and therefore keeps your airspeed higher for longer. Another thing to note is that this is actually one of the shortest Asphalt 9 tracks that we've seen in ESL Mobile Open before, which I think is one aspect of it that leads to such close time differences between the players. Now, this is a pretty interesting part coming up. So you want to shockwave off the ramp, but then if you go over to the left, there is this little raised part, where if you go off of it at the end, you're able to keep some airspeed longer, and y'all on finishes with a final real time of 44.091. Now let's take a look slowed down at the two top runs in iOS and Android driven by Pickle and Yogg's Run to see if we can spot perhaps any little differences between them. Yogg's Run goes ever so slightly higher off this ramp and he's actually able to get three barrels versus Pickle's two. This is why he's able to have enough nitro for a shockwave off this ramp, but that doesn't actually make up for the time that he lost by going slightly higher on the ramp because Pickle is actually slightly in the lead at this point. But then for the next 30 seconds or so, the runs are almost identical. They both do a slight punch drift at almost the exact same time around that turn, then shockwave out of it. And it's just insane how synchronized they are. See, around this next turn, they both start drifting and then they again punch drift at almost the exact same time. It's so satisfying to watch these players. They both pick up the blue nitro and then use their nitro over this slight patch of rough terrain on the side of the track so that they can have have a better line and angle going into this next big curve. As they shockwave out of the turn, you can see that Pickle is clearly slightly ahead of Yogg Saran at this point in the track. And here is where they differ a little bit again. Pickle hits Nitro earlier than Yogg Saran and then goes down to double tap Nitro for the ramp, but Yogg Saran gets a perfect run and is able to shockwave up the ramp, giving him a bit better airspeed. They both go off the ledge to the right again with Yogg Saran still having his shockwave. And now all this left is the final turn. Pickle doesn't quite get enough Nitro to be able to shockwave, but he still takes the victory by a slight margin. Thank you all so much for watching, please like the video if you have enjoyed, and consider subscribing for more Asphalt and other games content. Be sure to check out the finals in just a few hours, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye!